Okay, this is SPC 200, and we're going to talk about uh, some commissioning features. So, um, <clears throat> the first thing I want to point out is the I.O. So, let's activate that. Activate that. I want to have the status up. So I click on that. I want to see what my access target is there. I want to see position. That's the position register. And it should match this, of course. So there's that. And over here on the right is the program here. And I'm going to show how to step through the program. So for debugging commissioning purposes, you know, you're going to step through your code. And uh, how we do that is we go to control axis. <clears throat> and you pick a program. So I'm going to pick program zero, which is the program I have open here. Observe the warnings. The enable is on right now. You can see that I've got input seven and nine both on, which is the stop and the enable that allows me do this. So if I take the stop off, you'll see that I lose the stop. It's still ready, but you won't be able to execute anything. Um, if I drop the enable, you will see that uh, we've lost the uh, ready down here. Turn it back on, and it's back to being ready. <clears throat> I've already done a static and a, and a dynamic identification, which is why we have two two greens down here. Okay, so in here. Um, we've got uh, our program here. So you need to right click and say execute step, or you could use the buttons at the top here to do a bunch of things. Um, you can start continue, so I'll just go back and forth, but uh, typically you wouldn't want to do that. You want to uh, either hit this button here and it executes that step. So we did a G1, which is this one right here, move to position at defined speed. So we told it to move to position 50, x50, uh, at you know 80 for velocity. And I can just keep, when I click in here, that's when the buttons become active, so I just keep clicking this. Just doing some thinking there. And N4. Which is this X at zero? Use positionless move data. So this position is right here at zero, 192.15. So I move to that, and I keep, I can keep clicking. You know, execute step, execute step. I'm, I'm right clicking. G4 500. <coughs> That's just waiting for the dwell time. That's a half second dwell time. Or maybe it's a longer. Maybe it's a, five, it's a five second dwell time, I guess. Um, then uh, this right here, G01X2, should be going to uh, G01X2. Where is that? That's this one right here. So I use positionless move data X2, which is 120. So execute step, or I'll just hit this button. So now we're at position 120, as you see here. Current position is 120.17. And you just basically keep stepping through. And Start continuous. So now it's just going to execute itself. And if I want to stop that, I would use the stop button.
And basically you can see the program executing as you go through. And it starts over. And it continues to go. So if I want to stop it, just click on the stop and it stopped. So I think the rest is pretty much uh, And that's it for controlling the axis.